By the 25th century, Earth's resources were ravaged, consumed, exhausted. Desperate and on the verge of extinction, we cast out into the void of space and discovered rich new worlds waiting to be cracked open and stripped bare. All of Earth became devoted to this effort. The planet crackers were built, the USG Ishimura the first and most famous. Planet cracking became routine. Its spoils kept us alive. Eventually, greedy eyes fell upon Aegis Seven. Restricted for centuries for reasons unknown, greed and corruption saw to the demise of caution. There, buried beneath the surface, an artifact, the Red Marker. Long lost and long forgotten. The religion I once called my own had found its holy grail, the key to human immortality. Or so we thought. It did not bring salvation. Witness the conviction of a true miracle. It brought doom. Marker bred insanity, murder, and chaos. It bred necromorphs. Those who escaped the planet fled to the safety of the orbiting Ishimura. This is Shuttle CSO-4. The colony's overrun. We can't go back. The scourge released upon Aegis Seven came with them. Within hours, the Ishimura went dark. The corporation dispatched a small repair crew to check on its investment. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. Among the crew was an engineer, Isaac Clark. Isaac, it's me. He had something special about the Ishimura. I wish I could talk to you. I'm... In the darkness, Isaac found death. found Nicole. Thank you, Isaac. I always believed you. Dead by her own hand, she was an apparition of the marker. Isaac engineered his escape. But everything else was destroyed. Three years later, he wakes in a hospital on Titan Station, an Earth-Gov metropolis on Saturn's largest moon. Isaac has survived, but his mind is no longer safe. For the marker changes all.
get off me, bitch. Let's continue on our journey. Almost dead. Ugh. Ugh. Good. Good. Should I go look for health? I feel like I need to find a book. Everything's locked. So, I'll probably be able to see anything that's highlighted. so nervous. I always walk around here and I'm just I'm just like looking at stuff. I'm such like a guinea pig when I play these type of games. And they just scare the shit out of me. Like it's something stupid. Like last time it was the steam and I just know there's gonna be something. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just walking around. Okay. I'm supposed to go that way. Objective. Objective. That's a really cool feature that they put in this game. It really makes it a lot easier. But let's see. Oh god. I almost don't want to go in here. Look at this horrible sound. I wish I had a crouch. I feel like, like, if I'm playing Battlefield Bad Company, I'd be like, I'm on a crouch. Isaac, Isaac, come on, come on the right way. Wait. Okay. Who is? Wait, Who wait, is yeah, wait. I, I don't know.
Alright, I'm sorry guys, I'm so nervous I can't even talk. This shit's crazy, I think I'm gonna settle down. Can this guy, can this, can you please? Dana? Oh, Dana. I'm like crimping right now. Okay, you're that right. That was crazy. I do need your help. Oh. Talk to me. Talk to me, Look, please. I, we don't have to be friends. <laughs> But like it or not, we're stuck together. Oh my Tied god. Your enemy, what not was me. Alright, I, I found you a new route. Fine. It's so scary. I'm so not where the hell am I? I can't believe I'm still alive. How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? You're on Titan Station orbiting Saturn. As for the outbreak. <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah. Tideman's jamming my signal. Oh. Thanks a lot. 